بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحباب some of the sects in islam do not believe in the comfort and the punishment of the grave and Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'a believes in the ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam which illustrate for us this important aspect of creed and that the life of Al-Barzakh the life after this life does exist and it's a time between this life and the day of judgment when we'll be judged and enter either paradise or the hellfire. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ النَّارِ And this is why the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a Sahih Hadith in Sahih Muslim that Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha reported that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make these supplications. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in thee from the trial of the hellfire and from the torment of the hellfire and from the trial of the grave and the torment of the grave, and from the evil of the trial of the affluence, and from the evil in the trial of poverty. And I seek refuge in thee from the evil of the turmoil of the Dajjal. O Allah, wash away my sins with snow and hail. Purify my heart from the sins, as is purified the white garment from the dirt, and keep away at a distance the sins from me as the distance between east and west O Allah I seek refuge in thee from laziness from being senile and from sin and debt Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen and these are just one of the supplications as Imam Muslim entitled it in his chapter the supplication for the to safeguard oneself against the evil of the turmoil Ayyallah Bab, the punishment of the grave exists. The Dajjal exists. Jannah exists. And the hellfire exists. And may Allah protect us from it. Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen. And in that hadith, we see that the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said he, that he used to make this supplication. And as we know, the supplication that we should say at the end of our prayer. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al min adhab al qabr min adhab min adhab jahannam wa min adhab al qabr wa min mahya wa mamat wa min musih al dajjal that the supplication that we say at the end of our prayer seeking refuge in Allah from the punishment of the grave from uh, seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the hellfire from the punishment of the grave and from the Dajjal and all of these things are tests and trials and they're all affirmed by authentic ahadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. So if the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam sought refuge in Allah from these things, then how is it that someone could consider themselves a Muslim and not do the same and not believe in the punishment of the grave? Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Allah, I seek refuge in thee from incapacity, from indolence, from cowardice, from se being senile, from miserliness, miserliness. And I seek refuge in thee from the torment of the grave and from the trial of life and death. Again, this is another hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reported by Anas ibn Malik showing us those things which the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to seek refuge in Allah from, and one of them being the trial of life and death 
and another being the torment of the grave. Affirm for us again, the torment of the grave exists. These are just some of the ways and some of the things that form the creed of Ahlul Sunni, Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'a. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from the torment of the grave and protect us from the Dajjal, the fitna of the Dajjal and the fitna of the trials in this life as well as the hereafter. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد